seven reasons why women need to be financially free okay this is extremely important because it's true that most women are satisfied with where they are most women don't push to get to the top of their career they leave it for other people okay so i'm going to give you seven reasons that i came up with to encourage you if you're a lady here to be financially free try your best to get to the peak of your career or do a business that will get you to the peak of your career number one reason please write it down it increases your respect and your self-esteem there's a certain type of disrespect or insult you will not get when you're financially free there's a certain type of disrespect your family your kids your parents will not get if you are financially free if you're doing well if you're wealthy to an extent what about self-esteem there are lots of women who are extremely beautiful hardworking, doing it extremely well at their own level but because they're not financially free because you're not wealthy, because they're not doing well financially guess what they are made to have low self-esteem they are made to shrink they, are made to, they, they can't speak up. They can't do what they need to do. Why? Because of lack of finances. Number two reason that it makes you an asset and not a liability. I've counseled lots of women, even at my young age, but because of my level in the business, I've counseled lots of women. And one thing they told me is, oh, this person called me liability. My in-law called me liability. My husband called me liability. And when I ask questions, why are they calling me liability? They say, oh, because I'm not contributing to the household. Let me tell you something. If everything you have to do, you must ask your husband for money. You want to drink coke, you ask for money. You want to do your hair, you ask your boyfriend for money. Everything you do financially, depending on somebody, you are, you, are, you, are, you are a liability, you are a leech. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear, but that's the truth. Are you following? The person who is giving you the money, do they have two heads? That's why they call you a liability. But when you're financially free, it makes you an asset and not a liability. So this is extremely important, please. Okay? Number three reason is what? It gives you choices. It gives you choices. Let me speak to the parents in the house, the mothers in the house. The school your kids are currently in, is that really the school of your choice or is it money that made you put them in that school? If the answer is money, it means that you're not able to choose what you want. Let me tell you why it is so important. For me, I realize that the people who are extreme, doing very well, especially in Nigeria today, are those who put their kids in good schools. Why is that? You see, if you send your child to a very good school, he will meet, she or she will meet people who are going to be very wealthy in the future. Who are they are going to rub shoulders with people of Tilma and Kaliba and all that. And then in the future, when they are doing very well, yes, so they call each other. You hear someone became a president, who are they calling to be their ministerial appointees and SSA and all that? The people who they went to school with. So you need to send your child to a school where he or she will network with the right people. Very important. Are you following? Number four is it provides you with long-term stability. Okay? For yourself, your family, and all of that. Now, guess what? I've seen a lot of women, we had stories of them and all that, who were doing extremely well, they were high in the society, and then their husband died. And then they went from 100 to zero. Let me speak to the wives here. If they remove misses from your name, who are you? What do you have? What are your assets? What do you have in your name? Do you have anything? Do you have any property? Do you have any land? Do you have any how? What do you have in your name? What? Or investment or something? Nobody prays for anything to happen, but you need to prepare yourself so your family is secure and all of that. This is extremely, extremely important. Okay? Some of you are saying, God forbid. Okay? Oh. Number five is what? For your protection. For your protection. Lots of women have gone through a lot. They've been abused, bastardized, raped, all sorts of things. And some of these sad cases could have been prevented if they were financially, if they had some money. Going to meet the wrong person at the wrong time. Going to the wrong place. Going to do something you're not supposed to do. It gives you protection. Yes, we may not have the muzzle to fight for ourselves or defend ourselves. But even the Bible says money is a defense. So it helps you a lot. Or you see some women want to go and get you bid for a contract, you want to go and get a contract, and then they tell you, Oh, before you get that contract, you have to do something, you know. But guess what? When you're financially free, you can protect yourself from all sorts of things. Very, very important. Number six is what it makes you a role model. You know, the truth is that there are lots of women who do things they're not supposed to do, who do a lot of things, a lot of vices, okay. And that's because there's this false narrative that makes women think that they cannot be great, they cannot do anything on themselves except they rely on a man or something. Okay, so what happens? You need to grow up, become financially free, so you can take that one in your church, in your mosque, in your society, in your meeting, somewhere, and show her that look, I became successful without depending on anybody. You can be by yourself. It's so 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 important, women. Women, we need more role models. Are you following? There are some people that I may not be able to appeal to, but if you become successful, you can appeal to them. It doesn't matter your age, old, young, middle class. It doesn't matter. Okay, and for me, I had role models. And some women I saw who were doing extremely well, they didn't compromise, they were not doing anything, and they were doing very well, and it really helped me. Okay, number seven, which is final one, but it gives you time freedom. Okay, um, many women look a million years older than their age. If I look at you, I ask you, you probably look, let's say 10 20 years older than your age. Why? Because you are stressed, only you, you are the wife, you are the nanny, you are the cleaner, you are the cook, 
you are the driver, you are the everything you're doing. That is why you're stressed out. Are you following? My mentor, my, 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 uh, Randy Gage, says um, anything that can be delegated should be delegated. Do you understand? If somebody can cook for you, get someone to clean. If somebody can clean, get someone to clean. It's very important. Because if you don't have, I know how how um, relaxed I am now as a mother because I have lots of people that do a lot of things for me. It is so, so important. But guess what? You can't have people to give you that kind of time freedom except you yourself are financially free, okay? So these are seven reasons I hope I've been able to convince you that you need to be financially free, okay? Thank you. Bye. My name is Abbas Daron. Here,